Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm finally get parts to part, so let's do this. Let's finish this up so I can go to bed. Um, I'm gonna surrender. Put aside all claim to Redcliffe, and we let you live. You won. There is no point extending this charade. It's going to be all right, Father. You'll die. Everyone dies. Okay. Well, I'm glad that's over with. Not. <laughs> Grand Enchanter, we'd like to discuss your abuse of our hospitality. Your Majesties. When we offered the Major Sanctuary, we did not give them the right to drive our people from their homes. King Alistair, Queen Anora, I assure you, we never intended. In light of your actions, good intentions are no longer enough. You and your followers have worn out your welcome. Leave Ferelden, or we'll be forced to make you leave. But we have hundreds who need protection. Where will we go? You'll be leaving here with the Inquisition. And what are the terms of this arrangement? Hopefully better than what Alexius gave you. The Inquisition is better than that, yes? I suggest conscripting them. They've proven what they'll do given too much freedom. After this, stick them up a tower. It seems <laughs> you have little choice but to accept whatever you offer. You will surrender yourselves as prisoners and conscripts of the Inquisition. We shouldn't have accepted the Magister's help, I know, but... The sky has been torn open. We are all in immediate danger. There is no room for failure now. We cannot close the breach without you. But we would be mad to trust you. If the Inquisition wants the mages, it can have them. <laughs> we want them gone by sundown tomorrow. Then we have no choice but to surrender to the Inquisition. I'll go prepare for the journey to Haven. The breach will be closed. We must do what we can to restore peace to a world that sorely needs it. <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> oh God. Okay. There was going to be some that didn't like it, and some that was going to do it, but I'm trying to...
Suffered enough. Why continue to mistreat them? It is not mistreating them to take reasonable precautions. Whatever you call it, the situation with the mages is unstable and likely to deteriorate, just as the circumstance. What did you think we were doing? Taking the mages prisoner? There's an open hole in the veil. They're going to take terrible risks closing the breach. And we offer them nothing as incentive. They will rebel again. How could you go along with this, Cassandra? At the time, I had no better solution. I don't suppose you have one now. The sole point of the Herald's mission was to gain the Mage's aid, and that was accomplished. The voice of pragmatism speaks. Here I was, just starting to enjoy the circular arguments. <laughs> Closing the breach is all that matters. I got a taste of the consequences if we fail. Let's make sure we don't. We will not fail. We should look into the things you saw in this dark future. The assassination of Empress Selene. A demon army. Sounds like something a Tevinter cult might do. Orle falls, the Imperium rises. Chaos for everyone. One battle at a time. It's going to take time to organize our troops and the mage recruits. Let's take this to the war room. Join us. None of this means anything without your mark, after all. Oh, there, goes my, there goes my nap. And I'd hope to sit out the assault on the breach. Take a nap. Maybe go for a walk. What is it they say? No rest for the wicked. <laughs> Meet us there when you're ready. I'll skip the war council, but I would like to see this breach up close, if you don't mind. Then you're staying? Oh, didn't I mention? The south is so charming and rustic. I adore it to little pieces. There's no one I'd rather be stranded in time with, future or present. Excellent choice. But let's not get stranded again anytime soon, yes? I'll begin preparations to march on the summit. Make a willing, the mages will be enough to grant us victory. <laughs> We're gonna see what she thinks about it. And see if I actually... Oh, that's mages all over. So many robes, I bet all of Ferelden lost their curtains. I'll just be the other side of Haven, just in case. Do you have a problem with our new allies, with mages? No problem with mages. I mean, you know some that are all right. My problem is magic. If mages sat on their hands, everything would be fine. <laughs> you know it too, that's why you're shoving them up towers after. That's good, right?
Oh, come on now. Is the Inquisition what you thought it would be? Well, you're dragging people together, suppose that's something. You're gonna need more trebuchets if you're going after the sky. Or, you know, ladders. <laughs> All that acts is to dismiss them. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. What do I have to do to make her like me? Magic exists to serve man and never to rule. The Inquisition appreciates your assistance in this matter, Lady Corbin. And my miners are. I understand you were instrumental in garnering the assistance of the rebel mages. It is well done. And I pray this Inquisition fares better than the Chantry in its handling of magic. We will try. In some ways, Andraste had the simpler task. Magic should serve man, and not rule over him. That tells us what should be, but it does not tell us how to get there. So many times the methods of men have undone the spirit of their goals. Once you have sealed the breach, we shall see whether this Inquisition is truer to the Chantry, or its own namesake. Farewell. Make her go with you. What do you think? So Fiona and her malcontents are finally under proper authority. That's an excellent beginning, my dear. We will have to discuss how to administrate this new acid. Cullen doesn't have enough Templars to handle incidents. Some of the rank and file need to be trained. The last thing we need are abominations running amok. I knew you would have a proper grasp of the situation. I'll have a word with Cullen. We are reliant on his people, absolutely. There has never been a greater threat to mages than the breach. Until it is closed, no one is safe. <laughs> I'm glad that one of us has confidence in the Templars. It is not a matter of confidence. Reality does not change based on feelings. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned. The Dalish get along just fine without Templars or Circle Towers. As I understand it, the Elves limit their risk by refusing to have more than three mages in a clan. Tell me, what becomes of the Dalish youngster who is not appointed first or second? If a clan can't raise the mage, they're sent to another that's in need of a first or second. And if there are no clans in need of a new apprentice? For those who value survival, Sentimentality is not an option. Tell me something. As you will no doubt have a hand in shaping it, what future do you see for mages? Hmm. Nick. Mages shouldn't be kept out of the Chantry. Who knows the dangers of magic better than a mage? A curious idea. Such twists and turns your mind takes. It's something to consider, my dear. Okay. But I'm gonna... Like... 
I'm going to save all that. And then, yep, I'm going to get going. So, I'll see everybody later.